Okay, it's been 11 days since we seeded the lawn here in Chorley. Time to take the covers off. Okay, so Saturday, the 24th of September, we seeded this last Tuesday. And you can see now, just through the covers, we've got a nice bit of green grass coming through. Those of you who are in my Facebook group, Daniel Hibbert, Lawn Expert, Geek Haven, will have seen, I've been posting regular updates and you'll see how it is so far. So what happened last time, so we put these covers on, and one of the neighbours walks over and he says, what's that for? To me, it's obvious, but to him, because he'd never seen it before, he didn't know. So let me tell you why. A few things. One, keep heating. Two, keep moisture in. Three, keep the birds from eating the seed. Four, stop cats using it as a cat litter tray. And five, if we just walk over here, you'll see, stops leaves falling on it. Six, stops birds pooing on it as well, you see. Because they're sat in the tree up there, anticipating all this lovely seed to eat, which they've not really been able to eat. They're um, paying me back by do diring on the lawn. Well, they think they're doing it on the lawn, but they're not, they're doing it on the covers. Now that could contain annual meadow grass. So we're keeping that off the lawn. Obviously, once I take the covers off, there's nothing I can do, but hopefully, because the, the grass has uh, come through, we're in a position where they, that there's no seed from to eat and they'll do one. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take these covers off and then we'll have a closer look at the results. So just about to take the covers off. What you can find is that when you've put the anchors in, like the pegs, they're very difficult to get out because the grass has kind of pushed the sheeting up and it's actually driven the peg further down into the ground so they can be quite difficult to get out with your fingers. So what I like to do is I just take a peg and I can just use it as a hook. You can use pliers, but I haven't got any of those. So I just use uh, these and it makes the job a lot easier and saves the, the fingertips. All right, so we've got the covers off. Absolutely great results. Now, you can see here it's a bit patchy. You know, it's not patchy because there's not enough seed down there. You can see, because the sun's shining, that there is a shadow line. This hasn't had as much sun as this area, so this will always be a little bit behind. So there's plenty coming through, it's just not quite there yet. So next plan is to just go over it with the Bosch Rotac very lightly, not really a cut, it doesn't need cutting. We're just gonna give it a roll, just settle the soil down a little bit more and give us some guidelines because I want to spray some products. So let's do that. All right, so it's time to get the old Bosch Rotac out. Those of you who were with me five years ago and saw the vids will remember this same video. Still going, never replace the batteries, the really good mower. So again, just want to reiterate what I was saying about, like it's not patchy. What we don't want to do ever is when we take the covers off, we don't want to see a full lawn because that means there's too much seed. And if you can't see the soil, there's far too much seed down. So here we're going to let that seed actually develop into a full plant, which is going to be like 20 times more than what is given in one blade there. So this lawn has got to multiply 20 times almost. So that then creates our thickness, not that initial blast of thickness, because all you're going to do is get disease and it'll just rot away and it'll be dead thick. So let's crack on. We're going to go on to number three. So it's not really a cut, it might cut, at this top end where it's in the shade a bit because it's grown, it's elongated a little bit. So we'll maybe trim those up, but down here where it's not had much sun, um, it's been in the shade all the time, it's a little bit uh, shorter. So it'll just be a roll and then we'll give some guidelines for those products. So time to get cutting. Right, so you can see now, cut. good thing about using the Bosch Rotac is it's very light, so we don't have to worry about turning and damaging the lawn, because those roots aren't really anchored in yet, the soil's still a bit looser around the edges. So if you were to go with a big, 
hater, which I've got there, which I've resisted because I had the Bosch. I've not uh, damaged the lawn at all. But if you have got uh, a hater or a metal machine, you know, like a pro or a, just a rotary heavy one, never turn, always just push and pull, just use it as a push and pull. And that way you don't do any damage when you turn because that's where it's won and lost. So time to get with some products. Let's go and sort that out and I'll talk uh, uh, all about it. All right, so I've got the products already mixed in the tank. But before I talk about those, I had a few comments when I did the leveling video about, you know, oh, you must charge by the hour doing that. I do charge by the hour because so does everybody else. That's when you go for a job, you ask what's the hourly rate. So I'm not different, but I took my time because the leveling, getting them levels right is the most important task of any seeding job. Getting that food prep right now, you don't have to worry about it later. So if I just came and went, done, it'll be all wiggledy piggledy and we can't fix it. No matter top dressing after can fix that. So we do the job before we seed and we do it right. So what products have we got in the tank today? So we've got Stella Bio Boost, which is gonna give us a biostimulant effect that is gonna get the plant working right. We've got Sopro in there, which is gonna get that root further down into the ground. We've got Grace in there, which is the vitamins A, C and E, to get rid of any free radicals early on, so our plant's really healthy. We've got a wetting agent in there, because it's important when we're dealing with sand, when it's wet, it gets algae very quickly, moss very quick. So if we can get a wetting agent on there and keep water moving through the profile, we're going to reduce that risk of moss and algae buildup before the grass establishes. What else we got in there? We have got uh, some more biology in there. Uh, that uh, I had um, mixed another brew up the other um, just last week and put that in just to keep topping up, uh, so we can get that grass off. All about the roots today. We're not interested in the the top growth. All we're bothered about is those roots, getting those really healthy and away before the winter kicks in. I think that's it. So what we're going to do now is spray it on and then that's it for today. And then in a few weeks we can come back and address the situation. But today it's all about the roots. Did forget one product, Orbit, that new product coming out. Put that in, it's a game changer because it increases the photosynthesis. It's got beeswax extract in there, which is proven to increase photosynthesis. Even though we're not at second leaf stage yet, the molasses in there is going to get us to the second leaf stage quicker so that when the, that second leaf does appear when we do get the sunshine on it the product is already on and then we can maximize the sun's potential especially in a shady garden we're going to see really good results because you don't see much shade, uh, sun because of your shade you want to take advantage of all that sunshine you can get to orbit is going to be a game changer so i'm excited about using it so time to crack on part four over and done with covers off products on what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to leave them products on i'm not going to water it in There's enough water on there and i want the products to sit on the leaf a little bit especially the orbit which let it do its work and then it's supposed to rain later on so that'll wash it in so i'm not uh, due here now to do anything for a week or so unless we get a lot of leaves falling on then i'll be here blowing those off or picking them up with the mower which i can if i can it's not too wet so hope you've enjoyed this one and i look forward to making the next one and seeing this develop over the coming months. So until we meet again, take care and see you soon.